Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of an ink review. Today we are looking at a brown ink. This one from Diamine. Oops. Diamine. Burnt Sienna. Thanks go out to the OC Pen Club for providing the sample for this review. Here is our ink of the day. This is a nice, warmy brown ink. Very nice, very nice. And here is our ink swatch and water resistance test shows that I might not want to use this on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. Here is our toilet paper chromatography. <clears throat> I put a splotch down, let it dry. Alexa, stop. <clears throat> put um, it. Put some water on it. It came out and brown, and then some yellow, and everyone, every like, there's just like the tiniest hint of orange. That's around the edge of the brown, and then here is our ink painting of the day. <coughs> Let's do a calligraphy writing sample of this ink. This is a <coughs> Hunt 22B small pot of <coughs> ink. Move this up just so I don't hit my. Oh my gosh. I'm getting very cross right now. Just be cooperative, stupid son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. Hi, Wumble Bumblebee. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? Yahoo. <clears throat> How you been? How you been? Are you having a nice day? All right. So there was the hunt 56. Let's just do a little fountain pen. This is a Lamy. Studio. With a broad nib. And the ink is... Timing. No. I'm 
burnt sienna. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> Doing well so far. It's a lovely warm day out there. 80 degrees. It's supposed to be. Let's see, what is that? That's 27. It's going to be probably 30. Four, no, 33, 32, between 20, 32 and 33 degrees today. Oh my goodness, that's cold. <laughs> I would die. That is freezing. <clears throat> okay, so there's the writing sample. Let's do some ink. Let's do some paper review, shall we? Do 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 do. Uh. All right, here we go. This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. There is a no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <clears throat> a lightweight traveler's notebook paper. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, barely any ghosting. Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper, no feathering, normal amount of ghosting. Moleskin 70 GSM, feather like a chicken, blend through the page. Field notes journal. It is spreading into the page and it did bleed through the page. Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM. I don't see any feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <coughs> this is Ayush 100 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is 52 GSM Tumaway River. No feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. A little bit of gusting. Moisture 1917. What did I do with that paper? I don't know what I did with it. Tish. Oh well. Alright, there is no feathering. No bleeding. A little bit of ghosting. <clears throat> Mother M says 19, so I wore a dress. Oh my god. There, yeah, no, that's not cute at all. Hi, Marie Marie. How are you doing today? This is a really nice color. <clears throat> it's very different from the raw sienna. The raw sienna is darker, which I thought it would be the opposite. I thought, you know, maybe raw sienna would be like a lighter color and burnt sienna would be a darker because it looks darker. Maillard reaction makes things darker. I don't know. It's weird, right? So, this is Midori MD paper. No feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Cosmo Air Light. 75 GSM. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is the Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Burnt is darker for watercolor. Burnt is darker for watercolor. Oh. It just looks so weird. Anyway, this is a Maramon Namasani 80 GSM dot grid. No feathering. A oh, little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This says Oxford Optic Paper. A little bit of spread, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. <coughs> this says Clairefontaine 90 GSM. Nice shading, 
No bleeding, no ghosting. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. Burt is darker for watercolor paper. Color, not watercolor paper. Right, okay. Ooh, this one's feathering. And it did bleed through the page. This is Up and Up, Why Rule Composition Book, uh, Target.com. Nice shading, no feathering. Ooh, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is True Red Composition Book, Staples.com. Oi! Feather like a chicken. Blend through the page. And I just need to crack my back. There, it went. Okay, this is Apica 81.4 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <clears throat> this is the Nanami 7 Seas 68 GSM Tomoe River. No feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Loading a dot pad, 80 GSM. No feathering, no blading, no ghosting. Artist Loft, 100 GSM paper. Ooh, it is feathering into the page, and it did bleed a little bit through the page. Buffet, handmade paper from Italy. Feather like a chicken, no blading, no ghosting. New style notebook paper. Ooh, this one did spread into the page and it is feathering into the page and it did bleed through the page. Too bad. All right, this is Sheffield Home Paper Goods. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. <coughs> CVS Caliber notebook paper. I don't think that's actual feathering. I think that's me with my fat finger. No feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. Oxford notebook paper. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Barely any ghosting. Made a wide ruled notebook paper. Oi. Feather like a chicken, bled right through the page. Five star notebook paper. Feather like a chicken, bled to the page. Speckle notebook paper, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. A little bit of speckling, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Akabe cross section pad. Oi. Feather like a chicken, bled to the page. Original Crown Mill, one, I'm sorry, JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNeilBooks.com. No feathering, a little bit of ghosting, heavy ghosting. Original Crown Mill, 100 GSM paper. A little bit of feathering. Little bit of bleeding, barely any bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Okay, let's do a comparison panel. See where this ink lies. Light. Let's take a look and see. This might be an orange ink. 
I'm going to take a peek through the oranges just really quick. See if I can find anything that's even you know, near this color because it's such a light brown. I'm definitely thinking like SBRE brown, ochre, pending sands, marigold, monarch, Kiong He, corner line to Egypt. In tea. Red Panda. Vintage Tutsi. Vintage Copper. No, not really. Okay. Those are all of the orange inks. Let's take a look at some brown inks. See if any of these match up. All right, this is, this is raw sienna next to burnt sienna, which is totally what I thought would be the opposite. I totally thought that I made a mistake. Dominant industry ginger chicken. This is SBRA brown. This is even lighter than SBRA brown. I thought diamine ochre. No, not really. This is such a light ink. Um, vampire red. No. Beaver. Um, pumpkin cake. Kiowa pecan. Terracotta. Ancre Brune, this one's kind of close. Golden Brown, no. Brandy Snap, too light. Diamine Sepia. Autumn Oak. Cognac Brown, no. Tobacco Sunburst. Rome Burning. Urban Sienna. Those are the only ones that even come close to this ink. Wow. It's like ASMR with a paper shuffling. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> your org, you're welcome. Depending on how you like those types of things, I always found them to creep me out. So I apologize if anybody's creeped out by by uh, ASMR. So, what do you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a warm brown, light brown ink? Maybe this is the one for you. I kind of like this ink. It's, it's warm. It's got a little bit of shading in some places. It's, it doesn't have any water resistance, so I wouldn't put it on the outside of an envelope. But it's, it's kind of a nice ink. I'm going to really enjoy working with it today. So that's all I have for today. I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't done so already, please check out the second link in the doobly-doo to save 10% on your next order from Pen Boutique. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you, bye. Have a great day.